Hello, my precious friends. I really hope that you are doing great. Welcome to today's class. It's our seventh lesson on a given form three mathematics topic called approximations and errors. So we are looking at our seventh example, which reads that the length and width of a rectangular floor are given as 3.8 centimeters and 3.2 centimeters respectively. The dimensions are given with 1.5% and 2% of error respectively. Find the relative error in the area of this floor. So this one simply means that the length which is 3.8 centimeters was given an error of 1.5%. Therefore, we'll start by getting the absolute error, the absolute error, the absolute error in the length, the absolute error in the length will be given by so the length was given an error of 1.5 percent so we'll simply take 1.5 percent of course a percentage means of 100 then multiplied by uh, the actual length which was 3.8 centimeters so 1.5 over 100 multiplied by 3.8 you're gonna get uh, 0 0.057 uh, 0 0.057 Therefore, we can get the limits within which uh, this particular length existed. So the actual length was 3.8 centimeters. So the maximum possible length will take 3.8. Then we add 0 0.057. Uh, of course, this will give us uh, 3.857 uh, as the maximum possible length of this particular uh, rectangular floor. Then to get the minimum possible length, we'll take the actual length, which was 3.8. Then we subtract. 0.057 so 3.8 minus 0 0.057 uh, uh, we are going to get a uh, 3.743 uh, therefore these are the limits within which our length existed uh, from there we'll also get the absolute error the absolute uh, error in the width absolute error in the width in the width of this particular rectangular floor will be given by we were told that the width was 3.2 centimeters and it was subjected to an error of 2%. Therefore, to get the absolute error in the width, we'll take 2%, then of course, uh, multiplied by the actual uh, width, which was 3.2 uh, centimeters. So 2 over 100 multiplied by 3.2, this will give us 0 0.064. Therefore, this is the absolute error. Therefore, to get the limits within which our width exists, uh, we'll take the actual width, which was uh, 3.2. Then, of course, the maximum possible width will take 3.2. Then we add the absolute error in the width. So 3.2 plus 0 0.064, this will give us 3.264. We'll also get the minimum uh, possible width. To get this, we'll take 3.2, then minus uh, 0 0.064. Four. So when you subtract that, you're going to get 3.136 as the minimum possible uh, width of this particular uh, rectangular floor. Because they want us to get the relative uh, error, of course, relative error will need the absolute error in the area. Uh, we'll also need uh, what we call the actual uh, area. Therefore, let's start by computing our actual uh, area. So the actual area, uh, A actual uh, will be given by we'll take the actual uh, length so length actual uh, then of course multiplied by uh, the width actual because this is the area of a rectangle of course is given by length by width so our actual area will be we'll use the actual length of course which was 3.8 centimeters so i'll take uh, 3.8 multiplied by the actual width was 3.2 centimeters so times 3.2 uh, centimeters so 3.8 multiplied by 3.2, this will give us 12.16 uh, uh, square centimeters as our actual area of the uh, rectangle. Now to get the absolute error in the area, we'll need what we call the maximum possible uh, area. So our maximum possible area, which is denoted by A max, of course, this will be given by, we'll take the maximum possible uh, length so length max multiplied by the maximum uh, possible uh, width so this will be given by the maximum possible length of course we have it here that was uh, 3.857 uh, so this is 3.857 uh, multiplied by 
uh, the maximum possible width we have it here 3.2 uh, 3.264 uh, so if you take 3.857 multiply by 3.264 uh, this will give us a uh, 12 uh, 12.58 12.5 uh, 892 uh, 92 uh, then of course the last digit will have a uh, 4 8 so this is the maximum a uh, possible area 12.58 uh, 92 uh, 48 of course square uh, centimeters we'll also need what we call the minimum uh, possible area so for us to get the minimum possible area this is what we are going to use so a minimum a minimum the minimum possible area will take the minimum possible length then multiplied by uh, the minimum uh, possible uh, width so this will be equal to the minimum possible length of course it will be this one here that is a uh, 3.743 uh, then multiplied by the minimum possible width will be this one here that is a uh, 3.136 so if you take 3.743 uh, multiplied by 3.16 this is going to give you 11 uh, point seven three eleven point seven three uh eight zero then of course four uh eight eleven point four three uh then uh of course eleven point seven three uh eight zero four eight square uh centimeters now from there we can get what we call the absolute uh error in uh the area so we know that uh absolute the absolute uh, error in the area absolute error in the area will be given by this one we usually take a half of uh, the maximum possible area so a max then minus uh, the minimum uh, possible area so this will be given by so we'll have a half then of course into the maximum possible area we already have it here so I'll take this one here it is a uh, 12 uh, point 12.5892 uh, 9248 then of course minus the minimum possible area we have it here uh, 11.7380 uh, then of course 4 uh, 8 so if I compute this I'm going to get a half into if I take 12.5892 uh, 48 minus 11.738048 that difference is going to give me 0 0.85 0 0.8512 so if I take a half of that uh, I'm going to get uh, 0 0.42 0 0.42 uh, 5 uh, 6 therefore this is the absolute uh, error in the area of course it is in uh, square centimeters now the question wanted us to get the relative error uh, in the area. Now the formula for relative error, uh, relative error, the relative uh, error in the area, in the area will be given by uh, this one will be given by the absolute error, absolute uh, error in the area, absolute error uh, in the area, then uh, divided by divided by the actual area divided by the actual uh, area so this should give us the uh, relative error in the area so this will be given by so we need to just to substitute the uh, values of course we have the actual area in the area we still have it so the relative error a relative uh, error in the area relative error in the area will be given by so we need the absolute error in the area which we have gotten it here so it is a uh, 0 0.42 then 5 uh, 6 of course square centimeters then divided by the actual area our actual area was this one here so the actual area was 12 uh, point 0.16 uh, square centimeters Therefore, this particular quotient should give us what we call the uh, relative error in the area. 
So if you fit this on the calculator, that is 0 0.4256 square centimeter divided by 12.16. Uh, that quotient I uh, will give you 0 0.035. Then notice that the units will cancel out. Therefore, this will be the relative uh, error in the area. Remember, if you are asked to get the percentage error in the area, you take relative error multiplied by 100%. Therefore, uh, the percentage error in this case, if you multiply this with 100, you will get a 3.5%, which is the summation of 2% and 1.5%. Thank you very much for accompanying me until the end of this particular lesson. I do not take it for granted. In case you are new to the channel, kindly hit the subscribe button and also turn on the notification bell so that whenever I upload a new video, you'll get notified. Until next time, this is Kai Intuition Academy. Thank you very much.